welcome to Summer Explorers Camp 2021 Panama. Today is day three and we are going to be talking about uh, Panamanian technology and art. Uh, the first thing we are going to talk about is uh, popular Panamanian music. So, uh, one style of music that's very popular in the farming folk part of Panama is called uh, Musica Tipica, which literally translates to typical music. Um, also, a, a subgenre of that is called uh, tamborito. Uh, it means little drum, and it's played by a band with their little drums. And uh, a lot of the lyrics in those songs have to do with uh, farming and the, the lifestyle of being a farmer in nature. Um, <clears throat> to go along with uh, the tamborito music, along with their drums, they also play accordions and they sing uh, saloma, which is a form of yodeling. Um, a more recent uh, favorite style of music is called uh, reggaeton. So it is like a combination with a rap-like lyrics and dance style music. Um, it is very popular in most Central and South American countries. It's actually very, very popular in Puerto Rico, but it got its start or its roots in Panama. So now we're going to talk a little bit about some traditional dances that are done in Panama. Uh, another one is, has the same name. It's called El Tamborito. And it is probably the most famous and well-known dances of Panama. It is done in a big circle. And this is when uh, pollera dresses are worn. Um, men, are, they dress up to look like farmers. And it has its starts back in the 17th century. It was originally a courtship dance, which is really just a dance to impress a boy or a girl. That's what this bottom one here is. Um, another one is called uh, Congos, which is uh, originally from Africa. Panama has a very uh, uh, large Caribbean African um, population. And so, this dance actually was brought over from slaves from Africa in the 16th century. Um, it's, so it's a combination of European styles and African styles. Um, so what usually what women would wear is a, a very decorative patchwork skirt of uh, bright fabrics. That's what that one over there is. And uh, last one here is called uh, Cambia, which is another combination of indigenous styles, European styles, and African styles. It can be done with a partner or uh, in a group. It's very similar to uh, salsa, and that's what that one in the corner is. Um, now I'm going to go over some folk instruments. A lot of these instruments have been played in the tamborito style of music and dance. So, what you're probably familiar with is accordions, which is at the end over here. And then there are two different styles of guitar. We have the mejora nara, which is a five-string guitar. And then there's a la boca cana, which is a four-string guitar. So the top one is the five string, and the bottom is the four. Um, then you have some uh, tamboras, which are these wooden drums, which are there, and a characa, um, which is uh, played with like a fork-like stick, and it's rung across uh, little notches. Okay, so now we're going to go into some indigenous art art styles. 
the most well known for probably all of Panama are molas. So they are made uh, by Guna women that they mostly eat on the island of Song Blong. And <clears throat> they are cloth panels that are sewn on top of each other to make multiple layers of fabric into patterns. Um, they are originally uh, worn on blouses or shirts. They have panels on the front and the back. And they originally were actually painted on a woman's body before Europeans came over. And um, they're a very popular uh, uh, souvenir for tourists. So they've started cutting off the panels when the women are done wearing the shirts and they will sell them to them. Okay. So here is some Embora Wunan crafts. They're um, really well known for their handicrafts. It's how a lot of women in this culture will uh, make money. Uh, they're some of their most well known ones are their woven baskets, who are very intricately, intricately done. Um, there are many animal carvings. There's one style that's made out of coco bulo, which is a tropical hardwood. That's that one over there. And another well-known one is their miniature figures that are these little friends here, and they're made out of tagua nuts. And another well-known one are their palm fiber masks, and they like using a lot of, since they live in the rainforest areas, they, a lot of their inspiration comes to the animals that live there. Okay, so the last tribe crafts we're going to talk about are the Nove Bugle crafts. Um, one thing with the very other Nagua neck dresses, <laughs> which are so handmade dresses, brightly colored, and usually done in ge geometric styles. These are called Shakaras. They are bags that are made of plant fibers, and this is called a tom, which is a, it's pretty, it's a maraca. Okay, so that's all that I have for right now. Um, uh, later on we'll have some more crafts for y'all.